Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem which is x plus y is equal to 100 x times y is equal to 100 to find the values of x and y's from these two systems of equations now in the first step let's start by naming this as equation 1 and this as equation 2 now from equation 1 whereas equation 1 it is x plus y is equal to 100 into here we'll make y the subject so we'll take x to the right side so it will be y is equal to 100 this will take to the side to be minus x now note this equation in terms of y then from equation 2 whereas equation 2 it is this here which is x y is equal to 100 then into y we substitute this equation here in terms of y which is x 100 minus x so it will be x times y it is 100 minus x bracket is equal to this 100 then it will be x times 100 it is 100 x x times negative x is negative x square is equal to this 100 then here we we'll start with this here negative negative x square then plus this 100 x we we'll take this 100 to the left side so it will be minus 100 is equal to 0 now into this equation here here negative x square want to make this positive so we will multiply the whole equation times negative 1 so it will be negative x square times negative 1 is positive x square then 100x times negative 1 here it will be minus 100x then minus 100 times negative 1 here it is positive 100 is equal to 0 times negative 1 it is 0 now into this quadratic equation to find the values of x we'll use quadratic formula so from quadratic formula to find the values of x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a so into here it will be x is equal to minus b it will be minus b is coefficient of x which is negative 100 bracket plus or minus square root of b square it will be this minus 100 bracket square then minus 4 times a it is 1 times c it is 100 then here it will be over 2 times a it is 1 then in the next step here it will be x is equal to negative negative 100 here it is positive 100 plus or minus square root of negative 100 square to be positive 100 square it is here to be 1 with 4 zeros 10,000 then minus 4 times 100 it is minus 400 then over 2 times 1 it is 2 so into here it will be x is equal to 100 plus or minus square root of 10,000 minus 400 here it is 9,600 then over this 2 then into here it will be x is equal to 100 plus or minus square root here 9600 we can find the square root of this two zeros which is one zero so it will be 96 then times 100 then over this two then in the next step it will be x is equal to 100 plus or minus 
square root of 96 from 96 is find the prime factors of 96 so from 96 here it is divisible by 2 here it is 48 then divide by 2 it is 24 then divide by 2 it is 12 then divide by 2 it is 6 then divide by 2 it is 3 then divide by 3 it is 1 so 96 96 how many twos 1 2 3 4 5 so here it is 2 power 5 times this 3 then times this 100 over this 2 then in the next step here it will be x is equal to 100 plus or minus square root of 2 power 5 to be able to find the square root it will be 2 power 5 is same as 2 power of 4 times 2 is 2 power 5 then times this 3 then times this 100 over this 2 so it will be x is equal to 100 plus or minus we separate now so it will be square root of 2 power of 4 times square root of 2 times 3 it is 6 then times square root of 100 over this 2 then into here it will be x is equal to 100 plus or minus square root of 2 power 4 it is 2 power of 2 then times this square root of 6 times square root of 100 it is 10 then over this 2 then in the next step it will be x is equal to 100 then plus or minus 2 power of 2 it is 4 4 times 10 it is 40 then times square root of 6 over 2 so here it will be x is equal to we we'll divide by 2 in this in here and here so it will be this over this so 100 over 2 plus or minus this over this 40 square root of 6 over 2 so it will be x is equal to 100 divided by 2 it is 50 plus or minus 40 divided by 2 it is 20 square root of 6 so into here we have two solutions of x whereas the first value of x is equal to when it is positive it will be 50 plus 20 square root of 6 and the second value of x is equal to when it is negative it will be 50 minus 20 square root of 6 then into here i've got the values of x so to get y's we will recall this equation here y is equal to 100 minus x so from y is equal to 100 minus x so this is x1 so it will be y1 is equal to 100 minus x1 which is this here 50 plus 20 square root of 6 then here it will be y1 is equal to 100 we we'll take negative inside so it will be minus 50 here it will be minus 20 square root of 6 so it will be y1 is equal to 100 minus 50 it is 50 then minus 20 square root of 6 so into here I've got x1 this is y1 so here it will be x1 comma y1 bracket is equal to x1 it is this here so 50 plus 20 square root of 6 comma y1 here it is 50 minus 20 
square root of 6. Then in the next step, here this is the first solution. Now to solve this second solution of x2, so we we'll recall this equation here of y is equal to 100 minus x. So this is x2, so it will be y2 is equal to 100 minus x2. x2, it, will, it is this 50 minus 20 square root of 6. So here it will be y2 is equal to 100. We we'll take negative inside. So here minus 50. Here it will be plus 20 square root of 6. So here it will be y2 is equal to 100 minus 50. Here it is 50. Then plus 20 square root of 6. So this is x2. This is y2. So it will be here x2 comma y2 is equal to x2 x2 which is this here 50 minus 20 square root of 6 comma y2 it is this here 50 plus 20 square root of 6 so these are all our solutions into this our problem. Whereas the value of x into the first solution, it is the value of y in the second solution. And the value of y in the first solution, it is the value of x in the second solution. Now in the next step, let's check this solution if it is correct. So to check... From our problem, which is x plus y is equal to 100. Here, it will be x times y is equal to 100. Now, we check, let's check by using this first equation here. So, from x plus y is equal to 100. We check by using this, the answers from the first solution. So x plus y, it will be this plus this. So it will be 50 plus 20 square root of 6 plus y. It is 50 minus 20 square root of 6. Is it equal to this 100? Now into here, it will be this 20 square root of 6 minus 20 square root of 6 is 0. So this and this will cancel. So it will be 50 plus 50. It is 100 is equal to 100. So left side and right side are equal. Then it is true for the first solution by using this first e equation. Now let's check by using this second equation here. Of x times y is equal to 100. Now, by using this first solution here, it will be this times this. So here it will be 50 plus 20 square root of 6 bracket, then times 50 minus 20 square root of 6 bracket is it equal to 100. Then here it will be 50 times 50. It is 50 square. Then 50 times negative 20 square root of 6. So here it will be minus 50 times 20 square root of 6. Then it will be 20 square root of 6 times 50. So it will be plus 50, which is this, times 20 square root of 6. Then 20 square root of 6 times negative 20 square root of 6. So it will be negative bracket 20 square root of 6 bracket square. Is it equal to this 100? Then here it will be 50 square. 5 square it is 25. 0 square is this double zeros. Then minus 50 times 20. Here it will be 10 with 
two zeros then square root of six plus 50 times 20 this and this is 10 then two zeros square root of six then minus 20 square it is 400 then square root of 6 is square it is 6 so here times 6 is it equal to this 100 then here it will be 1000 square root of 6 minus 1000 square root of 6 is 0 so this and this will cancel so it will be 2500 zero, zero. then minus 400 times 6 is 2400 is it equal to this 100 now this minus this is 100 is equal to 100 so left side and right side are equal then it is true for the first solution by checking from this second equation here so it is proved for this first solution also the second solution is correct thank you for watching don't forget these steps to miss out subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye